Well, cinema is extremely old in India. Within six months of the first film shows in Paris by the Lumiere brothers, their representatives had come to Bombay and held screenings there. And I think cinema caught the imagination of the Indians very fast. And people started making films in India almost immediately, actuality footage. Later on, there were attempts to film plays. And uh, the first recognized feature film was made in India in 1913 by a person known as Dada Sai Palke, who is considered to be the father of Indian cinema. This was a film on a mythological subject, Raja Harishchandra, taken from the old scriptures, and it was extremely popular. It led to a spate of films on mythological subjects, although very soon we were also making uh, films on contemporary modern subjects. And we've never really looked back ever since. Cinema has been popular right from the beginning and it continues to be popular in India. It is perhaps the only form of mass entertainment which is available to large sections of the population. It is also a form which has uh, over time evolved a peculiarly Indian character uh, in the form of a lot of music, a lot of dance, there's humor, there's tragedy, there's comedy. Everything goes into an Indian film and uh, it's also one of the cinemas which is very strong in its own country. We are perhaps now at the end of the 20th century the only cinema apart from Hollywood which has a tremendous market within its own country as well as abroad. Indian cinema is extremely popular in the Middle East, in North Africa, in Southeast Asia, in Central Asia, uh, republics of the former Soviet Union. And it is perhaps the second most exported cinema after Hollywood. It is a very strong cinema which produces the largest number of films anywhere in the world. We produce more films than Hollywood annually in India, uh, roughly about 800 films a year. This is only the feature films, not counting the documentaries and uh, so on and so forth. And so it's a form of expression which is extremely important to Indians. It plays a very important role in the lives of Indians. Film music is an extremely important expression of popular culture in India, which is prevalent all over. It is recognized all over. People know film songs their entire programs on television based only on film songs. Um, also, films have played a very important part in raising consciousness in India about India as a country. Not directly, not through propaganda, but just by being a common form of expression for Indians who otherwise have so many differences because we have so many languages. We have uh, more than 18 recognized official languages with different scripts we have people with different traditions, and yet many things unite us. Amongst them is Indian cinema, because it is seen all over the country. And it has certain common forms which are appreciated by Indians everywhere. Also, Indian cinema is uh, a factor which has, uh, which has been very important. Uh, it has played an important role in our freedom struggle, in raising consciousness about Indians as being Indians. And uh, many patriotic filmmakers made films which were indirectly critical or even sometimes directly critical of the colonial rulers and uh, which got past censorship and which helped create this consciousness all over the country uh, to, which led to our independence. And they continue to forge uh, consciousness in India including uh, in helping to spread perhaps the language which is uh, spoken by most people but not by all people in India, that is Hindi because cinema in Hindi is very popular all over the country and therefore people all over the country become familiar with the language even if they don't speak it all the time, I understand it very well but they do become familiar with it uh, by watching Hindi cinema all over the country. These are some of the ways in which cinema continues to be an extremely important part of any Indian's life. I think no Indian is uh, feels complete without visits to the cinema either in the hall or even on video or nowadays watching it on television or cable. Cinema forms the backbone of even our television industry.